G'day folks, back again, Darren at Caloundra Marine. Today we got Quintrex's Renegade 420 tiller steer. Uh, we're gonna put it out on the water with two of the most, the biggest leading brands on the market. We've got Yamaha's 44 stroke. We've got the Evinrude direct injection two stroke. Um, let's see if we can bust a few myths today and see what really happens when they go head to head out on the water. It's gonna be a great day, you're gonna love this one. So just a quick run through on what we did today was we took four identical boats to the water, one with the 40 Yamaha four stroke, one with the 40 Evinrude direct injection two stroke, one with the Suzuki four stroke, and just for fun, we took the 30 E-Tech um, direct injection as well. Let's see what happened. So we actually did four tests today. First test, I jumped in the boat individually by myself and took them all for a run. I had my iPhone with the GPS hooked up um, and ran every boat through its paces. Then I put the film guy in, we, uh, there was two of us in the boat, we did our identical tests. Um, then third test we did, we put um, four people in the boat and that was a real eye opener. The last test we did was just hull shots and then top speed tests, one person individually in each boat. Um, you'll be surprised what you see. So with our second test, what we found, the 30 E-Tech actually ran between 40 three and 44 kilometers an hour with the two of us in it. We then had the Yamaha up, it ran 48, 49 kilometers. The E-Tech ran 53 to 54 kilometers and the Suzuki four stroke, it actually ran 50 and 51 uh, kilometers per hour. As you know, let's start out with the 30 E-Tech. You know what I found, um, you know, it's supposedly 10 horsepower down uh, on the other three competitors. Uh, but the torque of that little 30 was incredible. It didn't struggle that bad to get us up on the plane. We didn't have to jump out of our seat or do anything. It, it actually got there. So bang for your buck, it was actually a cracker. So in the third test, we put the 44 stroke Yamaha on the water and it was a real surprise that with four, four of us in the boat, it took so long to get it up on the plane. In fact, we had to get up to the front of the boat and I had to jiggle on the steering to actually get it to level out and that took way over 100 metres with, you know, compared to that little 30 E-Tech, it just come up on the plane, it took a little bit, but we didn't have to move out of our seat, we didn't have to jiggle the steering, it just did what we thought it was gonna do. And the other two, yeah, wow, they were great. They just popped up exactly what we expected um, and what you probably would expect out of that sort of horsepower. So the last test was just the whole shot that we did and after what we found with the three engines performance, we put the lightest guy into the Yamaha four stroke, myself in the Evinrude E-Tech, a guy similar weight to me in the Suzuki and you'll see the results, you know, certainly the E-Tech with its direct injection two stroke torque just popped up out of the hull um, and hull shot at everyone. Next Suzuki, um, then obviously the Yamaha came up and you know, at top speed, both these guys ran wide open throttle position. Uh, and in all fairness, I, I was probably running about 90% throttle on the E-Tech um, and they challenged me. So I opened the throttle, it picked its nose up and it started to pull away. So if you really want bang for your buck, that 40 E-Tech, what a cracker. Fastest on water on a 420 Renegade. So when it comes to fuel consumption, people always ask us, you know, does this direct injection engines have the same fuel efficiency as four stroke? And look, after today's performance, to be fair, we topped up all the tanks. We ran from military jetty boat ramp down a lighthouse reaching back, put all four fuel tanks in the back of the ute, straight to the fuel station, and this is what we found. I fueled it myself. I found the 30 E-Tech ran three litres of fuel. Um, the Yamaha 44 stroke, it ran five litres of fuel. And surprisingly, uh, for everyone, the Evinrude 40 E-Tech ran the same amount of fuel. The Suzuki four-stroke, it actually had an extra litre of fuel usage, but you would kind of expect that being the largest cubic capacity 40 on the market at 950 cc's, twin cam multi-valve. You know, the Evinrude 40 here, 863 cc's, Yamaha 40, you know, uh, it's only 750 cc's, single cam, single valve engine. Um, the little 30 E-Tech, 577cc, so you'd expect it to burn less. Um, 
you know, that was a great result. Um, it was a surprise. So to answer everyone's questions, you know, direct injection two-stroke has four-stroke fuel efficiency. It was quiet, it was ultra low. It even has three-star rating here. This will go any dam anywhere in the world. That's what they pride on.